Yeah. Well, it's that time of the year again. My mailbox is filled with political flyers, as I'm sure yours is. But it's important to not just throw the flyers away. It's important to look at them as an introduction to the candidates that you will consider voting for. Then you can go to their websites. You can talk to people who know these people to determine who will best serve Monroe County. The election on November 5th is the municipal election and the countywide elections. So I'd like to take a few minutes and share with you my insights regarding one of the races. And it is David Christine's race for district attorney. He is our district attorney and has served 20 years as district attorney in about a dozen years as assistant district attorney. When you take a look at his promotional information, it indicates a record of excellence. And you can do the research. There is a record of excellence. He has honesty and integrity. He's striving for justice justice for the victims and justice for the, the criminals that they're fairly treated in the court of law um he's very devoted to our county and looks at his goals for safety and security among our population um when we take a look at his record of excellence one of the startling things about his opponent is this individual has never prosecuted a criminal case I would say that's a real negative for someone who's aspiring to take on the role of district attorney. And so as far as experience goes, Monroe County has no better option than David Christine. But I also would like to talk about my concerns related to his opponent. If you haven't heard these things or you haven't been to the man's website, I think it's important to realize he quite upfront with being a proponent of criminal justice reform. And I would say, understanding how our government and law works, that the criminal justice reform is the job of the legislation, not based on an individual opinion's ideas on what would be justice and fair in a court of law. It is up to the prosecutor to uphold the laws as they exist. They need to be changed. It's not his job to arbitrarily change them on his personal opinion. He needs to prosecute those who break the crime, break the laws, the criminals. However, also on his website or his Facebook page, the opponent explains he will not prosecute low level crimes. Well, that is a rather vague term. How high does a low level crime go? And he doesn't say that, but Looking at situations in some of the major cities in our country where district attorneys are, offices are being held by progressive leftist Democrats, the ability of the district attorney to not prosecute certain crimes is being abused. Uh, one of the cities, and I don't know if it's Boston or if it's San Francisco, I'm sorry, I don't remember which one. The district attorney is not prosecuting a crime in which the value stolen is less than six hundred dollars now if you're the victim and someone has just taken six hundred dollars or five hundred and ninety nine dollars worth of sneakers out of your store you might be a little upset that that retail theft isn't prosecuted if you're the victim and your property is vandalized and it's determined the value of the vandalizing is only around three hundred dollars there will be no justice for your concerns for the you as the victim and um, I think that's significant because here in Monroe County, we are in that Interstate 80 corridor and we've witnessed um, that the crime travels through that route and we connect to 33, 380, 81. So we're in kind of a hub of uh, transportation where if the word gets out, we're limiting how we're going to prosecute criminals certainly will attract more criminals. We've seen the criminal activity that our situation generates. For instance, one of the things that comes to mind is several times now, we've seen where there was uh, outrageous shoplifting up at the crossings and the, the perpetrators, you know, hop in the highway and off they go. Well, if the word gets out that you're going to have fewer prosecutions in our country, excuse me, our county, when that word gets out, you can guarantee will be easy pickings. Another aspect about this is 
It's part of the evolution of becoming a sanctuary county. It's one of the steps. And I don't know about you, but I am concerned that the safety of our citizens, the protection of their property, and the um, action of law is going to be diminished if we look at someone who is going to arbitrarily not prosecute criminals. So I'm asking for you to please support David Christ Christine on November 5th. It's the best decision for Monroe County. No matter where you are in the political parties, right now, let's look at what works for our county. 